Hey dears, nice to see you again. Welcome back to our new video. Today we are going to discuss about how to measure the blood glucose level with the help of a portable glucometer. The procedure may be differed from different hospitals as per their policies. But this is the basic procedure. First of all, we can just check about the article needed for this procedure. First is blood glucose meter. Next, testing strips, sterile lancet, cotton balls, alcohol swab and disposable gloves. Now we can discuss regarding the procedure. I will tell you each and every steps with the help of the rational because it help you to score more in your bedside viva. First you want to check the physician's order because it helps to confirm the time for checking the blood glucose. Next step is review the manufacturer's instructions for the glucometer use because a lot of company have different glucometers so it helps to doing the procedure accurately. Another step is gather all the articles at the bedside because it provide an organized approach during the procedure. Next is explain the procedure to the patient because it helps to gain the patient cooperation. Next step is have the hand wash with the use of soap and water. Use the warm water if it is available. This is a mandatory procedure when you are going to do a procedure then after finishing the procedure. Because this washing hands reduce the transmission of microorganism. Next is position the patient in a semi fowler's position or upright position. Because what is the need of this positioning? Because it increases the blood flow to the puncture site. Wash hands and wear a disposable gloves. Next, because this will prevent the spread of microorganism. Gloves protect from the exposure to the blood and the body fluid. Okay, then read the blood glucose result displayed in the monitor and inform to the patient about the result. And don't forget to document it. Next is turn off the glucometer and dispose, dispose the supplies appropriately and discard the lancet in the sharp containers because waste disposal and waste management it is very very important sharp must always be handled properly to protect others from the accidental injury the final step is remove the gloves and discard it wash your hands and don't forget to record the blood glucose level in the chart this facilitate documentation to the procedures and provide for the comprehensive care okay all right now we can check how the procedure is going to work okay first of all arrange the article near to the patient's side these are the articles so this is the sterile lancet and the lancing device is there sterile strips are there then disposable gloves cotton balls and a glucometer everything you have to arrange near to the patient's side then after that wash your hands then you can wear a disposable gloves so this disposable gloves is not compulsory that is as per the hospital policies but it helps to prevent the spread of microorganism and uh, protect from the exposure to the blood and the body fluid then next is remove the stress uh, test strips from the container and recap the container immediately all right next is turn on the monitor of the glucometer and insert the strips and check it is matches with the code number okay so you can see in the monitor then after that now you can take the lancing device and test and remove that so inside the lancing device you can insert the lancet okay so after that twist and remove all right and rotate and adjust the device so usually you can use the three or two okay next is pull out the barrel then now the device is ready okay select the appropriate puncture site and massage the side of the finger with an alcohol swab then after that hold the lancet perpendicular to the skin and prick the site with the lancet so if it is needed wipe away the first drop of blood from the site then lightly skews and until the hanging drop of blood has been formed 
then gently touch the drop of the blood to the part of the test strip without smearing it so apply the pressure to the puncture site using a dry cotton ball and read the blood glucose result displayed on the monitor and inform the patient about the result okay then after that you have to remove the strips and discard in a container okay so this is the discarding method of the lancet this is the used lancet so remove that one and the recapping is not appreciated so you can do like this okay so after that remove the lancet from the device and safely discard in a container okay all right then after that you have to remove your gloves and wash your hands along with that you have to record the values okay inform to the patient this all about the procedure okay all right this all are regarding the procedure i hope it is clear for everyone now i am going to talk about the special consideration in the patients who requires regular blood glucose monitoring or shallow penetration should be encouraged to avoid the tissue damage next is rotate or change the size to allow the time for the penetrated side to heal to reduce the pain choose the side of the fingertips or side of the heel for children patients should compare their personal glucometer reading with the laboratory measured blood glucose level every 6 to 12 months all right so far we are discussed regarding the procedure which procedure the blood glucose level monitoring with using a portable glucometer it you can practice in your hospital setting and your home also if you have any concern regarding this procedure don't forget to write it in the comment box for getting more nursing related videos subscribe our channel and enable the bell notification so you don't miss any single video